All right, uh, we're going to look at a quick tutorial on how to receive data on Android. Uh, on some of the previous projects that we looked at, we were sharing data with other apps. So in this case, we're just going to be on the receiving end. Um, we can receive things like um, plain text, images, um, and things like audios as well. Um, so just kind of quickly look into how the project would look. Um, here's the application, receive data, you can see that there's nothing displaying, but um, if we start by, for example, sharing plain text, and I'm just going to do it by sharing something in Chrome, uh, in this case it's just going to be sharing the URL, I'm going to pass it to the app, and it's just going to display it right there. So this would be plain text, there is also implementation for sharing images I have some here and then there is a distinction between sharing a single image and multiple of them uh, so we're gonna go over that as well so it's sharing one single image you can also share multiple one it takes a little bit longer because some of the files are big but in this case um, there's the two images overlapping but that's not what we're here for extreme design, which is here for the impl implementations. Then there is also for audio. So what we could do is try sharing this as well. And we'll play the audio for us. Um, and then multiple audios, if you select share that. playing all the audios at the same time and how do you guys stop it there we go all right so this is what we're going to do right sharing text sharing images sharing audio and i didn't have the video part but it will be very similar so hopefully this will be enough to actually um, get started um, this project will be available on github i will include the link in the description so you don't actually have to just follow the video if you don't want to you can clone it from there um, with that out of the way let's get started so to be able to receive data from other applications uh, fairly simple first thing we're gonna look at is the manifest um, depending on where you're gonna be placing these um, or which activity you want to receive the data in this case my application only has one activity and it is my launcher activity, um, but I'm placing all the receiving actions in there. So you might, uh, in your case, want to split it or do something else. Um, but we're going to be putting these in intent filters. And we will have to do these individually for each one. So my first one that I have here is text plane. Um, so we'll have a send. And then the category default will be there for each one of them. And the meme type is essentially the type of data um, that basically essentially tells Android that we are capable of receiving. Um, so that's, that was the URL case that we did when we were shared the URL with Chrome. And then we can do the same thing with images. Um, so we're saying that we can receive an Im image and then there's a star here, which essentially just says all types of images. If you want to be more specific, you could say PNG or JPEG, something like that. But in this case, that means that we'll be accepting all types of images. And then I have a second image down here. But there's the difference that we talked about, I mentioned a little bit ago, is that there is a small difference if you are going to be accepting multiple images, we'll have to do that as a separate intent filter. In this case, the first one is image of all types, but it's only send. In this case, it's send multiple, but it's it could still be the same type. So if you're going to be accepting one or more than one, you're going to need both of these. And then we also did the audio. In this case, it's exactly the same, send send multiple and then audio 
and obviously you could be more specific like mp3 so you're gonna need these in the manifest and there is no uh, requirements that it has to be in a certain activity you could spread it around you could um, put it wherever you'd like but in this case it's just one page for this demo um, code wise <clears throat> The main part of it is that we're just going to be uh, parsing the data that's coming to the activity for us. And it's going to be passed through the intent. Um, one thing that was mentioned to watch out for, if you're using this activity to do other stuff, so for example, maybe your own application is passing data in, or maybe it's just being used as other stuff, you will need to differentiate between is someone sharing data to me? Are they just opening the application? Or is my own app um, passing data through activities? Uh, but in this case, we're checking that the intent does have an action. Um, and if it is send, um, we're doing some more parsing. For example, if it's uh, text, we're gonna be handling the text. If it's a media image, uh, we're going to be parsing that one and same thing for audio um, the send is just coming from the ones that we mentioned in manifest uh, it's these ones the actions uh, some of them are send and if you notice there's a second part action send multiple so same thing that we did if we're going to be managing multiple images it's right there so they're going to be separate in manifest, but they're also going to be um, managed differently on the code as well. And they're kind of separated in their own functions, so you can individually look at this. Um, but we can look at one of them, such as the images that I've done. So for the individual one, um, essentially what I was doing is I was just passing the intent. If it's an action send, and if it's of type image, and the way we're checking it is by just checking the MIME. And again, if you go back, these are the MIME that we also declared in our manifest. So we know we're capable of parsing images, and we know that we can parse any type of image. So we can come here and say just image backslash. So again, if you want to be more specific, um, for example, you can only do PNG or JPEG and nothing else, then you might want to mention it down here as well. So in terms of parsing it further, um, depends on the type of media you're handling. In terms of image, it was fairly easy. After we're getting the intent, I am just asking to get the parsable extra. And it is going to be of type stream and as we checked as our previous URI when we we're um, as our in our previous tutorials uh, whenever you're sharing contents from app to app there's going to be a URI involved um, in this case we're receiving the data so we're receiving the URI and there's a really helpful um, method when you're setting it for image views all you have to do is just say set image URI and then we're just setting the URI that was being passed in. Same thing goes for um, handling multiple images. Um, since we're going to be you know, handling multiple of them, so we're just going to have an array list of them, an array list of parcelables. In this case, still going to be an extra stream. And after we have checked, null checked, everything's in order, um, we're going to set our image. We use the same method that we used previously, set image URI. But in this case, since we're going to have an array list of the URIs, we're going to be um, setting the first one through, through the, uh, just the get method in our array and the second one as well. Obviously, this is not dynamic, so if the user selects three images and nothing's going to happen anymore. But essentially, this should tell you how to handle multiple images.
in terms of the other ones um, text is fairly simple um, instead of a stream which kind of uh, hints that it's going to be more of a audio or a video or an image uh, we're just going to say extra text so there's no URI involved we'll just say our text view text is what that was being sent so this was the uh, this was the case of sharing a URL that's where we're going to be displayed we're just setting the text that was passed to us and we just went through the images and the audios is exactly the same I'm just using a media player to play the audios as we looked at so there's nothing special about it we're just doing the get parsable extra in this case we're just handling one audio so we're just gonna have one URI that's being passed to us and instead of setting the image URI I'm just telling the media player that our data source is this URI it will prepare it, it will start it and it will hear the audio so it's shared to us successfully and the same thing for an array list of um, audio is being passed to us um, I am essentially just looping through them um, which is why you heard multiple audios playing at the same time and if you'd like to do videos as well I did not include this you will have to use the same technique um, so the meme type that we're going to be using um, you're going to do video backslash and it would be a star to indicate that you're going to accept all videos or you could do mp4 or something else if you're just going to be handling a specific type and in the same case you're going to get the uri so you're going to have to manage the files um, in your own way and this is how you share content um, that we looked at previously and this is how you receive it in android so hopefully these tutorials helped you in uh, making your app more available by sharing content if this was helpful please make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching